are now officially. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning vlog. It is Friday, October 2nd and 5.04 a.m. As you can see, my hair is wet. I just took a shower. Um, today is officially day one of Catherine and I's birthday road trip to Arizona and Utah. Um, it's very early right now, as you can see, I still have like bags under my eyes. I'm incredibly tired, um, but we have a long eight to nine hour drive ahead of us, and so I'm still doing some last minute packing and whatnot. Um, I'll see you soon. Good morning again, vlog. We are in, as you can see, Catherine's pumping gas. We're in the car now. It is officially, I guess, hour one of our road trip. We are getting gas, as I said, and I wanted to just do a price comparison. Um, I normally pop 87 into my Camry, and right now it is $3.19 to pump gas here in LA, right by the freeway, so it's gonna be a little more expensive, but I'm just curious to see how much the gas will get cheaper as we make our way east. So right now is hour one. We're in the car, we got all of our snacks, our drinks, my hat, everything ready in here and i'll see you at the next hour or whatever pops up all right bye also one more thing i forgot to add in total right now our map is saying that it's going to take us eight hours and nine minutes and arriving at 2 30. that's not including our pee breaks and stopping to get food so i'm going to estimate about eight and a half to nine hours for us for this total drive. We are going to switch off roughly every two hours and we are going to do a slight detour through Zion Canyon. Um, for those of you who don't know where we're going, we are going to Lake Powell, Arizona or Page, Arizona. We're going to um, go do the Antelope Valley Canyon um, through Lake Powell because the Navajos have actually closed it. So, um, yeah, we're going to Arizona right now. Good morning vlog. We are on to hour number two. It is now 7.15 a.m. Catherine's driving. I'm chilling in the passenger seat. The sun is up and rising. It's been up for about half an hour, so it's still hitting straight us at the face, which sucks. Um, I'm about to put on my blackout sleeping mask and pass out for an hour and then it's my turn to drive. So, we'll see you soon! We just finished our first rest stop and now I am the first one driving. We just left the Barstow Outlets area and our arrival time is now pushed back about 30 minutes. I'm hoping we can drop that time down. Uh, the road is wide open so yeah we'll see you in the next hour. the fourth hour I have about 30 more minutes so we're about three and a half and we have about 30 more minutes until we switch again um, we just hit the state line so 41 miles till Vegas we might stop there to switch around but we don't intend on stopping in Vegas we just want to go all the way to Arizona um, but yeah energy is doing good I have a Celsius to keep me going and we started eating our snacks a little bit more now it's 10 11 a.m. and yeah it's just wide open road just coasting Now 
11.35 a.m. We are in Nevada. We've already passed Vegas and just going through Nevada. It's Catherine's turn driving now. Um, we're looking in, so right now we're passing the Valley of Fire State Park and we're just trying to figure out where we want to eat in about an hour and a half. Um, not gonna lie, the drive is getting a little bit dreary, but it's definitely not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Like, we've just been listening to podcasts and just talking and time's going by pretty quickly. And we have about, I would say about four and a half hours left of our drive, not including lunchtime. Um, but yeah, the view's been crazy and it's just a lot of mountain roads. It's a pretty easy drive, it's just when it gets boring, you might wanna be sleepy. So we're just trying to keep each other awake and entertained. I'll check back in the next couple hours. Hi guys, so it's only been about half an hour since I last checked in with you, but we actually changed our plans a little bit. So I texted my friend Caitlin, who I used to work with, um, and she actually still lives in St. George, Utah, which I didn't think she did anymore. And so we're gonna meet up with her for lunch, which is super exciting. I haven't seen her in over a year, but we're so excited to go be able to see her. And it was just like a happy accident. I was just texting her, hey, are you, do you have any recommendations? And she's like, I still live here. And I was like, oh, let's go get lunch. So yeah, I'll check back in with you guys when we meet up with her. I didn't film during lunch because we were just catching up and it was just perfect um, so Caitlin is actually we're following her now and we are going to stop by her boyfriend's mom's house um, to see her puppy I'll probably not vlog that because I don't want to be filming in someone I don't know's house but um, we, w we had a really great lunch at a Thai restaurant here in St. George called Benja's and um, it was just a delicious lunch and so nice being able to catch up with her. She's definitely one of those friends that, you know, you're able to meet up with, you know, even after a year or two of not seeing each other and just catch up and it's just so nice to see her. Um, so I, we do plan on going through Zion after we go to her house and that's probably when I'll see you guys again. Hello vlog, we are in St. George, Utah. So we just finished um, hanging out at Caitlin's house and meeting her sweet little puppies. So cute, thank you to her and Zach for having us over for a little bit. We are now getting gas in St. George before we head over to do the Zion Scenic Route just to drive through it. Um, just to give you an idea of gas price differences, um, it's $2.69 here. Still a little bit pricier than I thought it would be. right? Yes. So she's getting 87 gas, so that's the price of that gas. And so it's not as cheap as I thought it would be, but St. George, as from what Caitlin was telling us, is getting a little bit more popular and inhabited. So um, I'm assuming the prices would go up in that way. But with going more eastbound, maybe in Moab, it'll be a bit cheaper before we come back. So I will give you guys more footage when we go through Zion, but for right now, that's it.
vlog we are on the zion scenic route as you can see here the view is absolutely stunning it costs about 35 dollars per car and it lasts for about seven days but i think it's absolutely worth it this is just some of the look of the view that you get to have on the drive up it is such a great spot we just stopped along the side of the road here and just took some shots as you can see there's other people parked here too but this is Zion, and we're just driving through. I'll show you more footage along the way. Good evening, guys. Hello, vlog. Um, right now, 6.52. We just checked into our hotel room, so it is a bit dark in here, but I wanted to give you guys a quick hotel room tour before we mess it up. We are in the Home 2 Suites here in Page, Arizona, or Home 2 Suites Lake Powell. Um, so right when you come into the door, it is a suite style. So right here, we have a full refrigerator and I believe freezer as well, which is awesome because we packed a bunch of um, things for the drive. So we have a bunch of dry ice, or not dry ice, ice packs that need to be frozen. There's a whole set of plates and bowls and cups over here. There's a full um, microwave in here. And then we have cutlery as well, which is super nice and convenient. Coffee maker for those that do drink it and even more pots and uh, containers. Here they have a dishwasher. We're probably honestly not gonna use that. In here is just extra storage and then also a full sink. In the bathroom, it is slightly dirty because we've already been in here, but as you can see, the lighting is absolutely incredible. And then you have a shower in here that has uh, Neutrogena products. Um, we weren't expecting a whole lot out of this hotel, but honestly, we're really impressed considering how much we paid for it. Well, it was with hotel points, but it's a very, how I would describe it, it seems like it's a modern conference room that they converted into a hotel room. So here we do have a sofa bed, but we're probably not gonna be using it. We're probably just gonna relax on it. Here is a nice, I believe it's like a 50 inch TV, which is not bad for a hotel room. We have two queen size beds here, all with USB um, uh, power sources. And then over here we have so much storage, like two girls, you know, you need the storage. And then in here, there's a full closet, ironing board, and an iron as well. As you can see, we have already placed our things in here and hangers. And let's see, what do we have a view of? The parking lot. <laughs> Good evening vlog. After that hotel tour, um, we went out and ordered some takeout food from a local mom and pop um, American Italian place and got a shrimp and crab pasta. We're splitting it. It's super good. Um, price is a little steep, but it is real crab. So um, it was it was a little expensive. It was like 33 for the two of us. Um, and it's just one portion, but we weren't too hungry because we did eat a lot of snacks on the way. Um, 
but we were super excited to try some local food and now we're just sitting in our hotel watching some of uh, season four of The Good Place and we're probably just gonna take a shower and go to bed because we need to be up by probably about 6.45 tomorrow morning. So this is the end of today's vlog and I will see you tomorrow.